Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo 992 and today I have a special little video for you guys since the last video reached 10 likes as I left in the comments you'd get the team which I think is going to win the Euro 2012 and as you can see, maybe see by the manager and by the goalkeeper that is going to be Germany and I'll tell you why after I introduce some of the players so this Neuer and goals, the up version, you'd have all seen him, he's quite cheap now anyway 87 rated, some decent reflexes on him as well, love him and at the right back position we have Philip Lamb, again just the regular version don't really see much point in plumping for another 150k for the informed version but let's get into some of the team of years we have Matt Hummels for Dortmund, 71 pace, 70 shooting uh, 94 defender and 90 heading, he's an absolute monster him and the other centre back I actually do have is absolutely crazy good, you'll see some of the goals I've never scored so many goals for headers in my life with these two they're just so good, and we're just going to plop in this other centre back right now, and that's Bad Stuber. 70 pace, 90 defender, 87 head, so that's two defenders with over 90 defending. That's quite crazy, and I played, I think, seven games with this squad, and I only, uh, I only, I only never cut the clean sheet in three games, and that was three close games. And at left back we have Smelzer, Schmel Schmelzer or whatever, I can't say his name. <laughs> Uh, it's got 77 pace, uh, it's just basically, I, was, I wasn't really going to go for the informed version because it's like 50k on the market and there's only one up. I'm not going to spend that on a left back, so I just got the regular version, decent. And at the centre mid position we have the informed Ozil, not the team of years sadly. 80 pace, 80 shooting, uh, yeah, it seems a lot faster than that in game. Like when I play with him he just seems so fast and he can, he's actually quite strong which is quite weird. Because I always think he Ozil being a wee bit uh, weak but... He's informed a lot faster and a lot stronger. And in the centre mid position we have Sammy Kadira for Real Madrid once again. A uh, decent defender and Hayden starts love him, just hangs back, doesn't really go forward much. With and lets the other two centre mids. And Bastion Swinestagger's obviously going to be my left centre mid. My favourite player in the world. Uh, I've actually had him since the game first came out. As you can see I paid 52000 for him, that was like what was his price was back in the day. And he's played 455 games for me and scored 62 goals. Every single one of his stats are all played with me uh, back in the day when I used to roll with an old German side. And at the centre forward position we have the second and four Muller. 87 pace, 85 shooting, it feels a lot better than that though. And 73 heading, he's got enough of a bull of a header as well. And also over 6 foot, really love him. He's going to do some excellent work at the Euros as he always seems to do. Uh, and obviously the striker is going to be the second and four Podolski. 89 pace, 90 shooting on him. Uh, his left foot is totally deadly, you see some of the highlights coming up, but his right foot I still can't get used to, it's just so bad, I really hate his right foot. Uh, but our last record is going to be the normal version, and I'll tell you why I went for the normal version, it isn't nothing to do with price or anything, I just prefer it, he's an absolute beast. You see how many goals actually scores for me. But uh, I think in the Euros closer is going to be playing, because he's trying to say he's fit, so was, I've got the informed card as well, but I just prefer. Gomez, but you'll see some goals from closer as well. And the manager obviously have the bogeyman, but uh, let me just change formation because this is the formation I think they're going to play at the Euros. It's going to be the 4 3 3 formation, and it's going to be uh, Muller on the right side and Podolsky on the left. They normally play Muller at the uh, kind of behind uh, the starting striker, it's maybe going to be closer in there. Muller normally just plays slightly off him towards the right, and Podolsky is always a left sort of winger. But I played the 4 3 one 2 formation just for chemistry and get all the players playing that I think. And I've checked on BBC Sport website to make sure these are all the players that's actually at the World Cup. So every player you actually do see in the squad is part of the 23 man squad, uh, minus a few other players, etc. So we're just going to talk you through the bench quickly. We have Boateng, now obviously the up version, we have Mertesacker, I think he may start, I'm not sure. We have Bentner, the up version, uh, Goatsey, and I'm not sure if he'll, he'll probably be just a late impact squad. Uh, Cruz, Squirrel. Well, that's what I call them anyway. They're probably going to be, they are a bit still young yet. I think they're just going to stick with this squad. But let's get into some gameplay now. We have some crazy goals here, so it's just going to be quick goals for the next six or so, uh, another six minutes or something like that. So it's all just going to be goals. Uh, first, we're going to introduce some of Gomez's goals. Uh, like I said, I've absolutely battered people senseless with this squad. I've never scored so many goals in my life. Like I thought I was good with my Denmark squad, but this squad has just blew everybody away. You can see I only played six games, like I said, because I did have to sell up because I'm going to be entering the new cup that's just started. So sadly, I'm only going to keep one German player. But I thought I'd get as many goals as I can in the game and throw them in the gameplay just to let you have a look. 
and you can see so as you can see Gomez that's the regular version only cost 5k and then you see what you're getting that's against team of your Joe Hart absolutely nowhere near that at all but uh, he's absolutely fantastic for only 5k so if you haven't used him before you probably have but if you haven't definitely try and pick him up and it's shown his strength as you can see pushes uh, Louise off the ball and finishes comfortably that was in one of the closer games and as you can see here again cliche I'm not sure if that was in form I'm not 100% sure but he managed just to push him off the ball and finishes it nicely again. Now the reason I think Germany is going to win the Euros is just because of their squad. And that's basically it. In the World Cup they were still kind of young. They were getting used to each other. But now they just seem to batter everybody. And although they did lose I think 5-3 in a friendly two weeks ago. Something like that. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't really read into that because half the players weren't really playing. And you, you never really want to get hurt in friendlies. But let's move on to Muller's highlights now. The inform remember. So that will be coming up now. Uh, Everybody's talking like Spain's going to win it, and I really don't think they are. Mainly because Puyo isn't going to be there, because he's injured, and David Villa's both injured. So that's probably the two main, uh, well, the best defending option and the best striking option are gone. I know Torres is back on form, and I really like Torres, but I just I don't see them winning against the likes of Germany, things like that, because I think they'll just get caught pushing too many men up front, especially with Puyo not going to be sitting back anymore. It's just going to be PK pushing forward. He gets caught a lot against... Uh, good teams that's what normally happens with Barcelona anyway so that's the reason why I don't think they're gonna win but Germany's group is actually a really tough one it actually has uh, Portugal Holland and my kind of crush team that's Denmark I really like Denmark as well you all know that by now by my squad but I think it all depends on the very first game on Saturday that's later on today between Denmark and Holland whoever wins that I think is gonna come second in the group let's move on to Podolski now in the group, uh, and the next bunch of highlights, see some of his left foot shots and deadly shots from him. I uh, didn't score as many goals as I would have liked, but he does set up a lot of goals. But you'll see a power out there, that left foot right there, boom. Left foot's unstoppable, right foot's dire. Couldn't hit a barn door with a shotgun. That's really, really terrible. <laughs> but his left foot is brilliant. So back to my group, yeah. I think whoever wins the Holland uh, Denmark uh, will become second with Germany coming first. Uh, it's actually kind of weird because Portugal is a side I've always liked. Uh, even before Ronaldo used to play for them back when they had like Simal and everything playing, they've always Germany and Portugal's my two teams that I like to watch because I think they play the most uh, attractive football, along with Spain obviously. But never really liked Spain that way, so I was quite pissed off to see Portugal and Germany in the same in the same group, which was quite uh, annoying for me. Oh, here's some closer goals as well. Uh, but I just don't think this is Portugal's tournament. I think they rely too much on Ronaldo and the likes of Nani. He just disappears all the time. Uh, he does the invisible man trait every World Cup and Euro. Uh, their defence is okay. They've got a new goalkeeper as well. He seems to be all right. Bruno Alves, things like that. They're a bit uh, old now as well. But P Pepe is going to be playing. I think Morelles, Velso uh, and everything. It all depends on them. And they've got a new striker as well. That would be interesting seeing. He's, he's called Nelson Oliveira. He scores some goals uh, for in the Portuguese league, so it all just depends who they play up front. Because I think Hugo Almeida can't kick his own ass. I think he's really terrible. I, re I really don't want him to play at all. But uh, if they do play him, I really think Denmark and Germany is going to be the two teams to go from that group. And I did get a few messages in my inbox about what they think of England's chances of the Euros. I'm not going to answer this as an uh, Scotsman. I'm going to answer this as a football fan. Uh, I think they've got the best chance I've had in a few years because of the low expectations. But honestly, I don't really see them doing much. I think maybe quarters if they get the hard group. I think France will beat them in the opening game. France are playing really good stuff. Uh, I think the manager who have they've got Hodgson or something like that. He's really defensive. That's why he kind of failed at Liverpool because he was playing too many people in defence and they were drawn too many games. Uh, so uh, I think maybe quarters just depends. Sweden's kind of a bogey side for them, like I said. And I think I can't remember who else I've got in the group. Maybe Ukraine. Uh, they're the host nation. But I think uh, yeah, that's going to be basically. That. And as you can see there, so I just took that because there were about five people with all nines in the squad. So the squad's really deadly, and as you can see, you get messages like this. I can duplicate cake. Your players, I help you, so I just replied back to him. If you want to see what the guy's username is, or PSN name, you can just message him or something, call him a cheat or something like that. Because he obviously does this to a lot of people, and that annoys me. 
So I just say you can't even spell duplicate, and then I just call him basically a cheat. So if you want to see his name, I'd love you to write him a few messages, call him a cheat, things like that. Try and get these people kind of stopped because they really do annoy me. So yeah, my prediction for the Euros is a Germany win. Uh, my upset for the tournament it will be Denmark. I think they're kind of the black horses. They're playing some nice football. All depends on Bentner. No scoring the goals because they might struggle. But what? But with Ericsson in that in the midfield, they've got a definite chance. Uh, as you can see, there's his name there, Hungary. So I'd love you to write that guy some messages, and I hope you liked this video. That's all because you liked it ten times the last video. If you missed my last video because I did upload it just yesterday about five o'clock, I will leave a link at the end, an annotation to the left hand side. You'll see it right now if you're looking. Uh, so click that, watch some demolition goals with Denmark, some beautiful uh, solo goals but yeah that's it i'd love to read what your predictions of the final who's going to be your favorite who do you think is going to win and who do you think is the black horse of the competition who you think might get to the final and might win it so yeah i'll happily read them but i've been cj 992 thank you for watching and bye bye